Hello, hello, hello. I wanted to do a quick review of this, which has been in my hands for a few months. I've been using it, and today it's going because um, I decided to sell it, and um, I'll tell you why. This is the Google Pixel Slate, and let me just take it out of here. Hopefully you can get a grasp of how big it is. Um, try and move the camera back. Uh, okay, so this is a Chrome OS tablet. The specification for this one comes in different specs, but this particular one was the Intel uh, M3 processor, 8 GB of RAM and 64 GB non-expandable uh, memory. It has a 12.3 inch QHD screen, which is not really fitting in here, which is pretty big. Uh, and when I, uh, if you look on uh, YouTube, most of the reviews of the uh, Pixel Slate basically say it's great hardware and the software is lacking. Well, I don't necessarily agree with that. I think the software is is pretty decent especially now that chrome os have access to uh, play store uh, so really this becomes a pretty big uh, android uh, tablet and the choice of android tablets getting less and less these days so uh, that could really be for somebody who is interested in android maybe looking for uh, work and play so I'll just get into what my experiences were with it. I got this from, this cost about 700. Oh, sorry, I dropped my camera. Uh, this cost about uh, 700 uh, from, let me just put it here, from eBay. And I got it with the uh, keyboard uh, case. A lot have been said about the keyboard case uh, and one of the main things is it cost $200 so well, it's quite a bit of money but I got both for that price not brand new but this only came out the end of near the end of um, two, 2018 so it's not that uh, old and let me just move this a bit there you go what was my experience is okay look I like Chrome OS. I like the fact that uh, I have apps access to both uh, Chrome and also Play Store and some uh, Linux apps as well. And uh, the person I'm selling this to wants me to set that set up with uh, Office apps because this is what they're going to be do using it for. Uh, so today I downloaded uh, all of uh, Libra Office and that you had to do by going to a terminal and typing in some sudo apt update sudo app get libra office it was pretty easy and instructions were easy enough to follow on uh, on uh, i just uh, checked on google so uh, that side of things was uh, not a problem so basically you have access to three kind of operating systems and um, I, I think uh, that is a good thing I have not experienced any problems with lag or crashing or, or anything uh, with regards to Chrome OS. G generally, my experience has been pretty positive and I, I'm, I, I really do think it's a, a viable proposition. It's getting updated all the time. And, you know, tens of thousands of schools are using Chromebooks, so why not have um, a decent Chrome uh, tablet? I had bought this for my uh, work and I was again I was looking at and I've been thinking about the uh, looking at the um, Surface Pro and I had had the Surface Go and you know I really liked the Surface Go I really liked it but I just thought the screen was a wee bit too small for my needs and perhaps the second generation Surface Go will be a wee bit bigger screen with maybe the bit bezels, the bezels will be le less. So I was looking for something a bit bigger and I, ultimately I went the other way. I think this is just maybe for my needs is just a bit too big 
I'm thinking this is 12.3 and it's a QHD screen, it's a brilliant screen. I'm just thinking for me, it's just a, a, a bit big. I think around about 11 uh, inches is um, about right for what my needs are generally for basic office stuff and carrying around for meetings and looking at uh, agendas and, 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 and bits and pieces like that. I don't need it to be too big. I don't need it to be too powerful either. Um, so with this, I just felt it was oversized. And also for home use, I mean, it's great for movies. And um, let me show you that there. It's great for movies. And the speakers got these stereo speakers here. Uh, brilliant, really great sound. Brilliant for watching any kind of media. Um, has a fingerprint scanner on the top. And the cameras are, I think, 5 M megapixels. I'm really like you, uh, that bothered about them. I'm not inter that interested in them. Uh, I have installed Microsoft Launcher on it as well, which you can use in conjunction with the way that it is set up with the o Chrome OS Launcher or the desktop. So you can kind of split, uh, go between them. I, I put this on because I thought it might be easier for the person who is... Uh, taking this so that they can just kind of feel a bit familiar with it. Uh, it's uh, working uh, uh, pretty decently. And here, if I could go here, I go into the uh, Chrome kind of launcher, which shows you the, the icons are a bit bigger. And then to go back, I was just then uh, finding the launcher here and then gone there and then I'm back into the Microsoft launcher so I I, I think that is uh, makes it pretty decent uh, weight wise well you can see here let me just move it again weight wise I would say that it is from my handling of my friends uh, Surface Pro I feel that it's a wee bit lighter it's certainly thinner and it, it is uh, you know, nice, uh, feels nice in the hand, feels very premium, uh, and I, again, just for my needs, uh, it was just that wee bit big, although great for reading at magazines and, and, and the likes, but for me, again, it was just that uh, wee bit big, but it, it was, uh, uh, look, big screen is good, and if you were kind of using it as your travel uh, work laptop, then it's it, it's perfect uh, uh, for uh, that kind of uh, purpose and uh, and of course you can download your social apps and stuff like that and you can use it a bit for uh, play work and play as well so uh, there's been a, on YouTube again there was a lot of reviews complaining about the tablet and feeling that it wasn't uh, it, sorry the tablet case and feeling that it it just could have been engineered a bit better and I kind of agree with them I think most people were complaining if I can show you here that it the cover slips a bit like you see here it slip, doesn't feel tight it's, um, as say the surface cover and that is because let me see put that here you can make your uh doesn't have a kickstand of course but you make the cover that way and you can see in the middle I'll just lift this up here that bit there so uh, it kind of makes it a bit wobbly and a lot of people complained about that and i think they've got a point if you're paying 200 dollars for a cover uh, you want it to be an absolute perfect fit and make it, you know, uh, nice and snug. It looks nice, the keyboard is nice, the trackpad is nice, everything works uh, well. And that, it was just that kind of final fit that is not to everybody's liking. And I kind of got used to it, to be honest with you. So it was uh, f fine. I did buy a couple of um, third party covers that I thought I could use for carrying around, but really, they added a bit more bulk than, than I liked, so I didn't use them. So I kind of just wasted about $80 on two covers, so it was kind of a waste of money. But uh, good for the um, person who's taking this because they will get three covers. It would be great if it had, um, it only has two USB C on either side, one for charging or uh, connecting adapter and using uh, your 
whatever flash disk you can connect a mouse to, uh, to it if you have a dongle. Uh, it would be great maybe if it had one USB port, I would have really liked that. But anyway, well, we'll just manage with them adapter. My MacBook only has one USB, so one USB port, so at least this has uh, two. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, Speed-wise, as I said, I didn't notice any difference, and I really do think that the because the Chrome is uh, pretty lightweight, for the most part, I'm not saying it's 100% perfect, nothing is, but from the most part, uh, it's going to be pretty zippy, and uh, it's opening uh, things relatively easy, and I've had no real uh, issues. I use this program as my go-to uh, magazine uh, pdf magazine uh, reader or any kind of pdfs it's called uh, exodo x-o-d-o -O. it's a really good app and it renders the pages pretty quick I, I, and i've had uh, no problems whatsoever uh, with this of course i removed some of my apps from here to because uh, it's completely reformatted there is also another um, office app that i i really liked i had it on my ipad and i've had it on android it's called smart office and it's com completely compatible with uh, microsoft so you can uh, use that as an alternative uh, to Microsoft's apps, which I have downloaded, and I believe once you sign in with the Microsoft uh, Word and PowerPoint, etc., you, for most of us, you can do words, you can do a bit uh, pr uh, presentations, etc. You don't need to have that full subscription. It's limited, um, I think, functionality, but for most of us, it's more than uh, enough, I would say. You can also use uh, the Chrome OS uh, Microsoft web, uh, so the Chrome OS web store, the online Microsoft apps as well. And I found that uh, I only tried it once with uh, PowerPoint and it, it worked pretty good. <clears throat> Again, this is because it's a pixel, because it's Google, doesn't have expandable storage. And uh, when I looked at the other options for uh, bigger uh, memory, but I figured that I have um, some ex I I pay a bit extra for uh, G Google uh, storage, um, and really because I'm not using this for major downloads or movies or I'm not going to fill up the I wasn't going to fill up that sixty four GB mostly with documents magazines etc so it didn't really have it wasn't an issue shall we say, um so I saved a bit of money there not buying the. The, this isn't the base model. I think there's a, a, a model uh, that was 4 GB of RAM. And uh, so this was uh, um, slightly higher up the tier. And uh, for everybody's daily use, I don't think anybody would have a problem uh, uh, with this. Uh, and as I say, storage-wise, well, you know, you can offload your stuff onto your USB, your hard drive, your backups. It's easy enough. Uh, Chrome easily recognizes uh, dongles, USB, hard drives, everything. I didn't f see any problems at all. So uh, for the people who are used to using Chromebooks, again, um, this would be uh, pretty easy. And Linux lovers as well, because you have some Linux function functionality here, you have Terminal and, and, and some other things which may be getting developed even more. Uh, it could be... Uh, a proposition for um, uh, Linux lovers as well. They've stopped making this, and I heard that uh, Google, or I read that Google have, in fact, um, they're stopping making tablets. I think they're just going to concentrate on their phones. So this is kind of the last. Uh, they will continue with Chromebooks. I think the Pixel Chromebook will continue, but tablet-wise, I think they said they'd, they'd had it. And, I mean, it's easy to see why. I mean, this is pretty expensive, and it goes up to over $1,000, and people were loath to pay that kind of money, even though it hardware-wise, screen-wise, it is, is really nice. I, I would suggest that now that it's it's not being sold, well, it's either two things are going to happen. It's either going to get more expensive to buy secondhand or it will get cheaper because people will be looking to get uh, rid of them. So I'm not sure, uh, but you could check on eBay. And if you have been a Chromebook user in the past, 
you're an Android user, uh, and as I say, Linux lover, this may be a, a, a real viable alternative to the little amount of stuff that is not Huawei or Samsung that is out in the um, to, to buy. Now, for me, I have bought two other tablets, which I will get uh, round to reviewing hopefully quite soon, and, and I'll give you my opinion on them. As I said, this one is going um, as soon as I finish this video. I'm delivering it to the person. So I just wanted to try and quickly encompass my my uh, experience. Look, it's a, it's a beautiful piece of kit. Don't get me wrong. And if I had unlimited amounts of money, I would keep it. Uh, but having three tablets and a MacBook, uh, my wife is complaining. And to be honest with you, I'm not using them all. Okay, so something has to go uh, and it's this and it'll go to a good home and it'll get hopefully get used by the person who is uh, buying it so I, I would say for anybody considering getting if you can get it at a decent price i would probably look at not going at the lowest uh mo base model i would this would be the the this one 8 gb of ram i just feel that that's a decent amount of RAM to keep everything running pretty smoothly. Of course, Chrome OS should work more than uh, fine, and Android more than fine, and Linux more than fine with 4 GB of RAM, but for me, this would be the one that I might go uh, for. And if your money could stretch a wee bit more, you could probably uh, go for a higher um, internal storage. Uh, so that's my very quick review of the Pixel Google Pixel Slate 12.3. I, I, I like it. It just wasn't suiting my needs. Uh, but somebody else, student, media, um, consumer, uh, mobile um, laptop type of a person, uh, this could be uh, a, an alternative um any questions etc or whatever i will do my best to answer them um but I, I liked it but i'm afraid it's got to go that's it thank you bye